Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. You guys voted for it, so I'm playing it. About 12 of you voted for this game. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Now... There's actually a opening cutscene, a lot of you probably didn't know that. A lot of you probably did, so I'm just gonna wait for it. It's strange it doesn't actually show you it after you start beginning the game, but there is an up opening cutscene. And it should open any second now. Explains the story and all that stuff. There's not much story in the gameplay sides so enjoy it but dr cortex we have not determined the cause of past failures moron <laughs> this bandicoot will be my team and he will lead my cortex commandos to world domination this time i shall reign triumphant we are closer than ever before quickly into the vortex! But Dr. Cortex, the vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> what? Failure again. Capture him! Uh-oh. Prepare the female bandit. That loading symbol, or that loading text down there is not really used much. So now we're going to start the game. What? Insanity Beach is the first level we'll go to. There's three islands in this game. They all have their own levels. This is the first one. I think uh, technically they don't have names, but the fan base has kind of came up with names for them. That would be Insanity Isle. I suppose. One of the things that uh, piss a lot of people off, or makes the, makes the game a little bit harder, is that you cannot use the analog stick. That's just how old this game is. The original PS1 game, uh, the original PS1 came with no analog sticks, actually, so... Crash Bandicoot 1 came out around that time, so there's no analog control. Even for the PS3 version. I'm not sure if anybody's fixed that, like, with emulators and stuff, but... Yeah, I suppose you could, might be able to fix it. There's an iron box that does nothing. Absolutely nothing. So don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't know why it's there. What have I got? Get three Aku Aku masks. You'll get invincibility, which is pretty dang awesome. Used to be pretty dang awesome until Crash to Insanity messed it up, I guess. Those masks in that game don't, don't really do much. For example, you can't use it to walk through nitro crates because nitro crates are gameplay elements in there. Um, what I mean by gameplay elements is because there's like puzzles and stuff that involve the nitro crates. So that would screw it up. I need to cheat. Okay. Here's the only hard part about this level. Is this box bridge. You have to jump on these. Spinning them doesn't work. I died. That means we have to restart because you cannot get you cannot get the gym if you die. Uh, gems are rewarded for getting all the boxes. That's 
It's only like this in this game. That's what makes this game so much harder than the rest of them. Doesn't mean it's not a good game. It's, it's fun in its own way. Not really going to be explaining all the details and stuff about the boxes and stuff. I mean, this isn't necessarily a walkthrough or anything. It's just a let's play. Whoops. Off there. I died on the first level. How, how much fail is that, huh? Seriously, though, it's kind of tricky. I think you might be able to walk over with the mask. You might be able to walk over, over the box bridge with the, with the mask, too. I don't really want to try that because I don't want to keep on dying. I just want to get over with this. Get this over with. But like I was saying, beginning to say, uh, you can't spin them, otherwise... Well, you can actually spin a few... Well, I don't know. I'm just going to do it this way. And we got it. Yay. Yes, I am actually mimicking a very popular Let's Player, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, whoever that is, you might know. One gym. And just in case you're wondering, that save file was a... Uh, it was, well, it, was, it, it doesn't really have much progress on it. And I... Yeah. Anyway. On to the second level. Jungle Rollers. Lives aren't too hard to get in this game. Pretty common. By the way, you can't actually complete this level 100% until you get the green gem. Which you get by doing special tasks. Actually, no. Um, that's how it is in the... Uh, other games, but in this game, it's simply sometimes if you break all the boxes in a level, uh, particular levels, you get a color gem instead of a uh, clear gem. So that's where the green gem is needed. In that case, we can keep on, we can die if we wanted to. We don't have to complete it in one go. We could take our time. Doing pretty well so far. Yeah, watch me get blown up by a TNT crate then. Sure. Doing pretty well so far. The game thinks otherwise. <sighs> Bonus rounds? Yep. They are in most of the Crash games, I think. At least the first four uh, non-platforming games. Are, yeah, you know, Wrath of Cortex included. Twin Sanity doesn't have any bonus rounds or anything. This is a... It's quite different compared to the other Crash games. Just because of the open world kind of deal. You know, free roaming. This uh, game is actually so, well, I guess not old necessarily, but they have to actually, they actually opted in to use the password system, Naughty Dog did, along with memory cards, so if you didn't have a memory card, you could use passwords. Uh, 
A lot of games on the PS1 don't use passwords, but... Well, actually, quite a few do. Um, Croc does. Croc is one of those games. Just the first one. Can't think of any other ones, though. Alright, so that's it for this part. See you next time on The Great Gate.